Now, Christmas is there's still 151 days to go until it arrives, but for some, it's not too early to talk about holiday toys. Here's a sneak peek at what might be under the tree, thanks to the hard work of some special kids. Debbie Little Kwan reports. They arrived ready for work. A new breed of experts at Sick Kids, toy testers. I think he's interested in this. Are you having fun? Here, it was a first for Parents Canada magazine, the must-haves for their holiday issue. Usually the toys are sent out and the kids fill out forms. This year we decided to bring the toys to sick kids instead and uh, be really involved with the actual toy testing. It's like a kid in the candy store, you know, you just can't keep up. You got to try and walk them through everything when they just want to hit every little toy through. She's been stuck in her room for two weeks now, so this is her first time out playing and she's really enjoying herself. Playing with toys is more than just fun for these kids. It helps them cope with life as a patient. There's lots of things that, uh, that are not under the children's control when they're here in terms of their procedures and their treatments, but playing gives them that sense of control. It, uh, it lets them, when they're choosing their toys, when they're choosing how to play with them. Now there are more than 200 toys here on display and all the kids that are testing them get to take one home with them. The shift of toy testing over, there was only one thing to say other than thanks. Bye-bye. Debbie Lytle Kwan, CBC News, Toronto. <laughs> a microphone, always a good choice for a toy. <laughs> like that. Coming up, trouble for the Olympic anthem. Why some spectators are calling for the song to be disqualified. Yeah, I don't know, like it yeah. very much. But first, more rain and storms headed our way. Michelle is back with your forecast right after the break and a preview of night two of rain and lightning. Stay with us.